Hello everybody, Faxbase here with Aspidicolone, the Kraken of Ancient Greece. Well, when we say that Aspidicolone is the Kraken of Ancient Greece, we mean that it was Greece's very own big scary sea monster, not that it had tentacles worthy of being immortalized in a famous pirate movie. In ancient times, the people of Greece described a sea monster that destroyed ships and killed all of the sailors on board. They gave that monster the name Aspidicolone, which was taken from the Greek words asp, meaning shield, and kelone, meaning turtle. Therefore, it can be deduced that Aspidicolone was a giant sea turtle, and giant doesn't really cover just how big this creature is said to have been, seeing as people used to mistake it for an island. And because it seemed to be an island, sailors would drop their anchors next to it, walk onto the back of the creature, and start a fire to cook food, naturally. Aspidicolone would have none of this, and dove down into the depths of the ocean, taking the ship with it, and drowning all of the sailors in the process. Skeptics believe that what the sailors saw was a gigantic whale and not a monster, especially because some of the oldest texts describing the creature speaks of it opening its mouth and emitting a special odor that attracted fish. In his writings in Natural History, Pliny the Elder also described an enormous sea monster, calling it a gigantic fish, named Pristis. In medieval Christian writings, the Aspida Cologne is turned into an allergy of the devil. Isidore of Seville, who lived during the 7th century AD, described whales as immense beasts with bodies the size of mountains. In his book, Etymologiae, he wrote that these colossal creatures emitted water and caused massive waves. Bartholomew's Angelicus, on the other hand, described the beast as the most terrifying and dangerous creature in the history of the world. He called it Belua, and chronicled a tale of a crocodile with huge jaws and a massive body that was larger than any other living thing. Aspita Cologne appears in folklore around the world and has many different names. For instance, in Ireland, the St. Brendan legend features a gigantic fish called Jasconius that breached the saint's boat because he too thought he happened upon an island. Greenland mythology speaks of the Imab Umasorsa, which is also a monster that unceremoniously dunks sailors into the freezing sea water, causing them to drown or die of hypothermia. The Zaratan is a huge sea turtle inching closer to the Kraken legend. Some versions of the Zaratan tale says that the monster is a giant octopus that tries day in and day out to get its own tail or tentacle into its mouth, but can't because it's too big. Thanks for watching.